Hello all, a warm welcome. This is Saranya Venkatesh. The topic which we are going to see today is Santal tribe. Why this particular tribe becomes very important is, as we all know, we have elected our 15th president of India and she is the first woman tribal president of India and she belonged to this Santal tribe. So to know about this particular tribe becomes very important for our examination. So first, this particular Santal tribe is the third largest scheduled tribe community in the country after the Gond and the Bill. So the meaning of this word Santal is Santa meaning calm and peaceful and Allah meaning man. So the meaning of this word is calm and peaceful man. Then this particular ethnic group is native to India and Bangladesh in South Asia. In India, they are majorly distributed in Jharkhand, Odisha and West Bengal. When we talk about this tribe, earlier they were leading a nomadic life and gradually they got settled down in Chota Nagpur Plateau of India. By the end of 18th century, they mainly concentrated in the Santal Parganas of Jharkhand. Earlier it was in Bihar. Later they migrated to Odisha and West Bengal. Now, when we talk about the occupation of this particular tribe, the primary occupation of this tribe is settled agriculture. So, when we talk about agriculture, the major popular drink among this Santal tribe is rice beer, which is also called Handia. During festivals and rituals, both men and women will take this rice beer. The other occupation, apart from agriculture, is industrial labor, mining and quarrying. Then comes education. This particular Santal tribe have a higher literacy rate. This is very important. They have a higher literacy rate when compared to other tribes in Odisha, Jharkhand and West Bengal. This is mainly because of their awareness among school education. Because of this, many of the tribe in this community have entered into the creamy layer of our society. Then when it comes to religion, as like other tribes, they are also nature worshippers and they also worship sacred groups in their villages. The one major river which holds a special place in the religious life of the Santal tribe is River Damodar. When the Santal tribe dies, their ashes and bones are emerged in this Damodar river and they believe they will have a peaceful afterlife. So one major river which have a connect with this Santal tribe is Damodar river. Then when it comes to dress, they wore a traditional dresses like dhoti and gamucha for men and women wore a short checked sari. They are usually in blue and green in color. When it comes to script and language, the Santal tribe speaks Santali language which belongs to a Munda group of languages. And they also have their own script which is called Old Chiki. This particular script was invented by Pandit Raghunath Murmu. And also one more important thing is this script Old Chiki which is invented by Pandit Raghunath Murmu has been included in the 8th schedule of our Indian constitution. Then comes the society. The society of Santal tribe has various forms of marriages. For example, elopement, widow remarriage, leverate marriage. Leverate marriage is something like when a man marries a marries his brother's wife. When he she becomes a widow, this particular man marries his brother's wife. And also it includes forced marriages, but that type of marriage is very rare. And also divorce is not a taboo. So divorce is common in Santal society. And polygamy is not favored. Polygamy is something when a person marrying more than one partner. So that polygamy is not encouraged in the Santal tribe. Then when it comes to architecture, the Santal houses are called Ola. And also the outer walls of this house were multicolored paintings. The bottom is painted with black soil and the middle layer is painted with white and the upper portion is painted with red. Then comes the art forms. The Santal tribe, they play musical instruments like kamak, dol, sarangi and flutes. 
The other major important thing is they have a particular pattern sari undress which is called futa kacha. This particular pattern dresses were sold through e-commerce sites. Recently, they are sold through e-commerce sites which also widely accepted in the community. Then comes the major festivals and rituals of Santal tribe. The first is Eroksim. This ritual is for sowing seeds. Then is Hariham Sim. This is at the time of sprouting of seeds. The next is Irigudli Sim. This festival is for offering small millets to deity. Then comes Jantal. Jantal is first eating of rice. So this festival is celebrated when we eat the rice for the first time. Then the next festival is Saharai. This is for cattle worship. The next is Mahasim. This is for dancing and merrymaking. Next is Baha. This is the ritual for first fruit of Mahua and ceremonial hunting. When we talk about the Santal tribe, the other major important topic which we have to study in connect with this tribe is Santal rebellion during the British rule. This Santal rebellion was took place in 1855 to 56. It is also called Santal Hul and this uprising is mainly against British colonial authority and the Zamindari system which was introduced by East India Company. So, the main principal rebel leaders in this uprising is Sido and Kanhu. So, this Santal, they considered this Zamindars and government servants as morally corrupt. So, against the Zamindari system, they took this uprising. So, what is the effect of this uprising is, the East India Company, they declared martial law on 1855 and the outcome of this rebellion is, it was put down by the East Indian Company soldiers. So this is all about the Santal tribe and the Santal rebellion. I hope you understood this topic. If you have any doubt, leave your doubt in the comment section and hit the like button, share this video with your fellow UPSC aspirants and subscribe to Get Into IAS. I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Saranya Venkatesh.